This is going, and I'm in Egypt, Cairo. Or is that Cairo, Egypt? <laughs> Have a good time. Cairo is located in northern Egypt, about 100 miles south of the Mediterranean Sea. Cairo's population is around 7 million, with an additional 10 million just outside the city. I'm in Cairo, Egypt, at nothing else than the Pyramids of Giza. <laughs> From downtown Cairo, Giza is about a 20-minute trip to the pyramids. The Great Pyramid was the tallest man-made structure in the world, made from 2.3 million limestone blocks. It took 20 years to build. Did you know that the pyramids had been around for over a thousand years before King Tut was even born? Dream come true for me to be here in Egypt. The pyramid is the highest erection made by man until the Lincoln Cathedral in England. <laughs> There's really nowhere to pee around here. When you go to a major tourist spot, and obviously we're probably at the most well-known in the world, but these guys on these camels and on these horses, they'll like try and get you to get on their camel just to take a picture, but <laughs> they won't let you get off until you give them a tip. So it's really, it's a, just a crazy way to get more cash out of you or whatever. We're going to go down and we're going to take a look at the Sphinx. But my main goal is to see if I can actually film the sphincter of the Sphinx. The Sphinx was the temple guardian. The word Sphinx is an ancient Greek word meaning strangler. The nose, you'll see, is uh, kind of uh, messed up. They blame the French Napoleon Army soldiers for taking a cannon and blowing up the nose just for fun or target practice. In 1798, 29-year-old Napoleon Bonaparte's huge military force set sail from Toulon, France to conquer Egypt. While trying to conquer this ancient land, some of his military putons took aim towards the Strangler. If it was standing, I would have shot it in the balls. <laughs> Scholars have disclaimed this story, but who really knows? It's always fun to blame the French. We oui. Looks like the bloody French are at it again. They went and blew off the nose of the Sphinx. Bastards. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and here is your, your Sphinx sphincter. <laughs> We're gonna go on some uh, 4x4 off-road out here in the, de the Sahara. Yes. yes, the Sahara. Egypt. Yeah, buddy. Egypt. 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 The Sahara is the world's largest hot desert. The pyramids of Sliza, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. There are at least seven pyramids out here in close proximity to each other. 
camel impersonation. Right? How's that? It's time to ride a camel. I'm gonna ride a camel. That's right, Daddy. My lovely camel hump. <laughs> My camel toe is hurting right now. <laughs> now we know why they call it a camel toe. Well, this is great. Riding a camel in the Sahara. Got the pyramids of Giza right over here. <laughs> How's your camel toe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you filming me? Yeah. Hey, it's organized chaos here in the streets of Cairo! 15% of all Egyptians live in Cairo. Come on, I'll show you around. Okay, we're going. This is my first time to a third world country. Life is moving so very fast here. Forget renting a car, but there's something you need to know about getting into a taxi. You have to negotiate the price before you get into the cab on how far you're gonna go. The meters here, are, some of them don't work on the taxi cabs. And some of them do, but they really don't look at it at the end. <laughs> Why is everybody's life better than me? Here's Mohammed, my driver. How you doing, Mohammed? Very well. Mohammed. Mohammed. All right. Got lucky. Got Mohammed driving the car. All that we need is Jesus in the back. And I say unaffiliated. <laughs> Okay, we're going to the ancient Egyptian's antiquity museum. Unfortunately, we're not able to uh, film in there, so. There are over 100,000 items on display here. The ancient jewelry is spectacular. Statues as high as the ceiling. King Tut's possessions cover nearly half a floor of this museum. Be sure to check out the mummy room. Mummy? Where's me mummy? If you like museums, be sure to come to this one. Now it's time to get out of here and go. Thank you. Thank you. Whew. Okay, well here we are at the Tent Maker's Alley. The Tent Maker's Bazaar. But let's check out some more stuff here. Coins Egypt trip. Thanks! That was fun. This entrance was the medieval gate to Cairo. Built in 1650, this is the city's only surviving covered market. They still sell tents here, but there's also pillowcases and cushions and quilts. Having a cell phone sets you in a high social status here. Whatever you do, do not eat any food from the street vendors unless you plan on losing about 15 pounds in three days. <laughs> well, that ends my trip to Cairo and Giza, the pyramids, the Sphinx. It's all wonderful here. It's a dirty town, but it's great. It has a character. I'm coming back, and you should too. This is Coins Egypt trip, heading back to the Nile. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Get a little sand in my camel toe. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to tell you tomorrow. Huh? That's enough for today. That's enough for today, I know. I'm done, I'm over. Okay, today, let's go. With Gary Hack. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs>